Hello, my friends, and welcome to the beautiful Pacific Northwest. I'm here at Kodiak Aircraft today in Idaho. Kodiak has been around for about 22 years and 16 years getting planes in the air. What sets them apart? Well, the power and the ability to get off the ground in a short runway and land on a short runway, plus the robustness of the planes themselves. They set themselves apart as a leader in the aircraft industry. But today, we're here with Qualicam, talking about the importance of coolant across your shop, the money it can make you, the money it can save you, whether it be tooling, finishes, secondary operations, or scrapped pieces. I'm going to step inside and talk with Jessica today, who can tell us more about how they increased their tooling life by 33%, along with less scrap, better finishes, less operations. But with more of this inside, let me stop talking and take you there. All right, my friends, let's head inside. Welcome, my friends. We've stepped inside of Kodiak. I'm extremely excited to be here. The planes all around, the creativity, and we're going to talk coolant today with my friend Jessica. Now, coolant, holy moly, I used to not realize its importance, and sometimes it'd be the last thing I checked when it should have been the first thing I was checking. It goes into finishes. It goes into tool life. It goes into even the part being able to be created correctly without scrapping it. It goes into all these components that sometimes get overlooked because we put it into work holding. We put it into cutting tools. We put it into programming. We put it in on all these areas and then it falls back on coolants at the end of the day. And I get to talk to you, Jessica, here at Kodiak to figure out what Qualicim has done for you and some of the advancements that have happened here obviously this Mazak machine, but some of your other machines as well. First, I want to talk about, because I know this is something you grabbed me and said, this is a pretty cool story, right? You, what was the original tool life and how many parts you were able to cut before switching coolants? Well, the three quarter end mills that we use a lot, like sharps and 20 radius, um, they used to have around 40 to 45 hours of, uh, of tool life and I think since we've switched coolant and um, various other things like new programming, work holding, things like that, um, that tool life has now gone up to around 60 hours. That's incredible. And, yeah, I could just keep pushing that. And it's amazing the abuse that these cutters can take. <laughs> it's really amazing. And why do we bring that up first? We bring that up first because a lot of times in a machine shop, that's your most expensive part, right? Is buying cutting tools over and over again. Mathematically, that's about a 33% increase in life. That in itself is saving money, but what about finishes? And what about having to do more work after a part is out of a machine to make sure that finish is where it's supposed to be and taking away that secondary work and keeping it in the machine based on coolant? Have you seen any advancements by switching to Qualicim in the finishes of your product as well? Oh, absolutely. We used to have to sand um, our surfaces to make them look prettier when in reality, we should just be able to do it right the first time and get the surface finish that we want first time, no questions asked. And it's that's what we've been able to do since we've switched. And it's it's a whole lot better. I, I think that's underestimated sometimes, Jessica. And I appreciate you conveying that message because oftentimes we go, oh, that's good enough. Let them just the hourly ways. Let's just do that real quick. But time is money. Time is obviously our most valuable commodity. It, we can never have it back. Not only that, you guys have a backlog for years in advance. And if you're doing things twice and three times, you're never going to reach that, right? And you're trying to make money and be efficient as well. So when we're talking about coolant itself, I have realized talking with a lot of my coolant friends, the folks at Qualicam are so intelligent when it comes to how and why and where we use certain types of coolants. I walked into a shop and they had a real sticky residue on a lot of their material, right? Which made them get worse finishes, reduction of tool life, and the secondary operations that we've discussed. That residue is sometimes difficult to get off and it also makes us utilize more coolant to do the same amount of work. How much coolant are you using now since switching to Qualicam because maybe that residue has disappeared and is doing what it's supposed to do? Yeah, well, we opened that uh, that three, that gallon, that big tote back there back in July. And it's not even, it's like a, maybe a little less than halfway through. It's, yeah, we, we're not even close to finishing it. Whereas before we would go through a one and one tote in maybe like eight, 10 months, wow. less than a year. Wow, and, and to put that in perspective, we might not release this video based on the months that Jessica just described, but let's just say it was about double before as to what it is now with being half a barrel through in the same reference of eight or nine months, almost a year of 
uh, being a half a barrel versus a full barrel before. Talked about the residue, we've talked about tool life, we've talked about the amount of money being saved in so many different areas, but what about scrap parts? I think that's important to convey as well. Now, scrap parts in my line of work, I oftentimes, it was my fault. I didn't want to blame coolant for that, right? But I can see that you're a professional machinist and scrap parts are certainly not your fault. Has there been a reduction of scrap or what have been some of the changes in that? Well, the biggest thing um, is part warping. We have some flatness call outs on our parts. And I noticed that with, with the coolant, it's helped keep the, the tool cooler, more lubricated. And then the parts themselves, I guess the chemistry of the coolant just reacts a lot better to the materials and um, less part warpage in general. Well, I need to bring on the Qualichem chemist to know more about how that actually, so you were actually having parts warping and that yeah. led to the scrap, but yeah. because of the potential of, of this coolant bringing, let's say longer tool life and better finishes and maybe the residue, all these things we've discussed. Don't worry guys, we'll bring in a chemist for this part of the conversation and we'll let you talk with them as well. You can also contact Qualichem to ask these questions, but you actually found a reduction in warping based on changing coolant. Yeah. That's fascinating to me. Well, Jessica, I always appreciate when someone hops on camera with me. I know it's not the easiest thing to do, even though we, especially you, make it look easy. Oh. So also, thank you for having MTD CNC into Kodiak. If you want to learn more about Kodiak, look them up at Kodiak.Aero. They are hiring. They are growing. They've been making planes for over a decade at this point. Some of the coolest planes, might I add. I'm going to see if I can beg these guys to take me up before I leave. We'll see if that happens or not. Jessica, thank you so much for your time. Not only do I appreciate your conversation, I appreciate you being a female machinist as well. We need more of you. Thank you for representing women, for all the women out there also. And thank you all for watching. We appreciate your time.